Today I'm out here with Tracy and Jolie. Tracy, how old is uh, your daughter? Um, she is 11. And you have a total of how many children? I have a total of seven kids. I was driving by, I noticed you guys are, have signs, single mom trying to make rent, anything helps and is greatly appreciated. Thank you, uh, Jolie. Sign says anything helps, big or small, and it's deeply appreciated. Thank you. Um, and you're soliciting help from the public because what happened? We were, we were actually in a weekly hotel uh, for nine months. So today I'm with Tracy and Jolie. Uh, Tracy, I was passing, uh, driving by the, by the street, and I noticed that you and your daughter are out here flying a sign. You're uh, soliciting uh, funds from the public. Uh, what happened? Um, we were staying. We were staying at a weekly hotel, paying five hundred dollars a, a week. We were there for like nine months, and they say it was an issue with bed bugs three weeks after the fact. But anyway, they wouldn't let us reside there any longer. Um, and we paid our rent religiously. Um, after that, we were, I was on the streets. Um, a friend of mine allowed me to stay with them for, we have about another 30 days, but after that, we, we can't stay there anymore. So I've been trying to save up some money as well as put, you know, put food in the house and stuff like that to help. Um, my car was just repossessed with all of our belongings in it, everything that we owned birth certificates, social security cards, my clothes, their clothes, everything, everything's gone. So I'm trying to get money for their clothing and stuff like that for the kids. Um, this is Jolie, she's 11. <laughs> she's my biggest helper. Um, I do have a total of seven kids, but um, two, of, two of them are with me, the other ones are grown. Um, it's just, it's really hard. And everything that we do receive, which isn't, a, it, it isn't much, but it is, it helps, every bit helps. And how long have you been out here on the streets asking for money? Uh, it's been about three weeks now. Uh, it, every day, if not every other day, at least. And the money that you attain each day, that's for basics like food, rent? It's for food, it's to give them some money, it's um, to put money on their electricity because they have like the box the box so we do we give them ten dollars a day for that um our we buy our own we buy our own food um i give them gas money for rides now that my car is not here <laughs> so I mean, it's just and it doesn't it doesn't what we make out here it does help but it doesn't go very far so but i mean it's it's better than nothing that's for sure <laughs> and there could be worse things i could be doing than holding a sign so you know i think i'm I'm doing what I can, then the best I can for my family, considering the situation. And uh, Jolie, how does it make you feel to be out here, um, uh, to be in this situation? Uh, do you hope that everything gets better soon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, it has to be tough. It's really hot today, 107 degrees. Um, it's 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 dangerous right this isn't the best neighborhood no <laughs> yeah i mean anything anything could happen it's not the best neighborhood but i mean without having a vehicle we don't you know we can't go very far so and ultimately what are your plans for your future uh, tracy what do you what do you want to happen uh, um a, 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 an apartment or a house in a safe neighborhood for my kids and you know somewhere close where we can get to and from work, get a car, you know, get these kids, you know, into school. And I mean, it's, it's gonna be hard, but I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying. And it's really hard to, it's hard to save up doing this, you know, because like I said, things do come up and I do have to, you know, participate in the bills where I'm at at the moment. So it is a little hard to save up stuff, but I mean, every little bit counts. And even if we're saving $20 a day, it's something toward uh, a home for our, of our own when you were at the you were at a hotel for eight months you said nine, no, months? Um, nine months almost yeah almost 10 months okay and that how do you pay that is that weekly or that, that monthly? We, two weeks. We, we paid every two weeks every two weeks yeah yeah so that was kind of like a home right you're off the streets yeah. 
that's so, it was it was it was a studio it was two beds it was cramped um we but, had a lot of stuff and like you couldn't really move around no no but um it was it was a roof over our head it was an expensive one we were paying a thousand dollars every two weeks so what i did make working was gone it was gone i, had, I mean there was practically nothing left I would be lucky if there was enough food to get us through until my next payday. Tracy, I'm starting to see this more often, unfortunately. Uh, gas has uh, more than doubled yeah. in the past uh, yeah. six, uh, six months. Uh, last past Yeah, six yes. to 12 months. Yep. It seems like it's just boom, just skyrocketed yeah, this all is of a sudden. Yeah, last six months. So, and then food they cut our food they cut our emergency food stamps off my food stamps went from 750 dollars a month down to 186. why because they said the pandemic's over so they weren't giving the pandemic food stamps anymore a lot of families lost a lot of money so i mean and 186 dollars isn't going to feed you for a month it's not just not feasible so so, so the government help gets reduced but the government increase on inflation with gas and food prices increases tremendously and yeah. also renting, whether it's renting a house, renting an apartment, oh, rent, yeah. renting a hotel. One that's bedrooms just... are going for $1,200 a month. Sure. I mean, that's a minimum. That's a minimum. But the place that we were in was a studio it, and it, did, it, was, it had a kitchenette, but it didn't have an oven. So we had two burners, a sink and a refrigerator and a, micro, and a microwave. So I was limited as to what I could cook for my kids I couldn't make healthy food for them, you know? Um, we pretty much lived off of what? Raviolis? Pizza rolls. Pizza rolls and- Sandwiches. Sandwiches and chicken nuggets, huh? <laughs> so, my kids really couldn't, they couldn't play. There was no place for them to play, huh? So, I mean, it was, it was, it was rough. We would just always play with the neighbor outside, but we couldn't really do anything because of how many cars we'd go by. Yeah. In the not, not really a playground, right? It's a no. It was there's nothing. They're not even a swimming pool for them at the place we were at. So yep. was uh, was Jolie going to school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her and her brother both were going to school. Um, McKenzie Vento, the No Child Left Behind Act. They would pick pick them up in their van in the morning, and then they would go to school and stay at Boys we and would, Girls Club. They would pick up like other kids and then they would take us to school early huh yeah they get to school like an hour before school they go to school and then they were at the boys and girls club till six when i got off work so she's currently on summer vacation right now yes they are yeah when does school start back up i um is it august, august 7th, 7th i think something like that so you guys don't want to be out here in august right in august you want to have your own place I'm more a little bit more stability yeah. so that she can start school and and uh exactly. your, her sibling her yeah. brother her brother yeah yeah they're gonna be he's gonna be in fifth and she's gonna be in sixth grade this year you excited to be in sixth grade yeah because yeah. then i'll still be with all my friends yeah what kind of stuff were you doing last year um, you were in what what were you algebra. in algebra Okay, but what clubs were you in? You were in student council? Student council, the art club, the... And what the, did you do the, for college readiness classes? What did you do? Do you remember? We would... We, okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, talk to him. <laughs> what would you do for college readiness? We would... The teacher would, like, search up colleges, and then we would put them in the morning announcements, and we also did a career project. Everyone would choose a partner, and we would get a career, and then we would have to complete poster board, three packets. It was fun, but it was also really boring. <laughs> fun but boring. <laughs> so uh, you're going into the sixth grade and you're already talking about college readiness, right? You're, you're already thinking about where you're gonna go and stuff like that. That's uh, really cool, that's really exciting. I think you have a really big, bright future, okay? So uh, we all have challenges in life, yep. right, Tracy? Yeah. We all have challenges at life. There's little hiccups, bumps, obstacles. Mountains. Mountains, yeah, <laughs> sometimes. But you know what? We go over it, under it, Whatever through we have it. To do. Whatever we have to do to, yeah. to survive and for the benefit of our children. So it sucks being out here, but I admire you as a mother having the courage to do what you need to do to survive. Yeah, and I mean, it's not it's not easy because a lot of people, they see, they see me out here with my daughter and they say some really rude, some people say some really rude things, you know? But 
it's better to have her with me than leaving her with people I don't know, you know, or, or strangers, or even, I mean, even I don't like, I should say, intruding on our friends. So I try not to leave my kids there, you know, most of the time. Um, and if I have to go somewhere far and I have to walk, I don't take them with me. But it's better for me, I think, to have her with me rather than out here but on my own wondering if she's okay where I leave her. Again, we don't know your situation. We don't know what you're going through. Right. Uh, and so we shouldn't judge. We should try to help, if anything. We should try to give you resources. If I have a dollar, I'll give you a dollar. If I can give you, uh, you know, try to make you, give you a smile and <laughs> keep your head up. Uh, the only way I can help is by making this video to uh, ask the Lost in Phoenix community to, to if they're able to help mm -hmm. with the dollar here, or whatever they can, that'd be greatly appreciated because um, because our future star here, Jolie, <laughs> needs an opportunity to succeed every day, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. She needs to see that there's good people out in the world, and uh, sometimes we all get stuck, but that that does that shouldn't define us. Right. right these these uh these troubles in life uh make us stronger for the future okay so don't get down don't 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 get sad uh <laughs> think about the the good things in life think about school and you know, the friends you're gonna see in august and your mom is doing what she needs to do to uh to make it a little bit better each day for you guys okay uh jolie if uh, people want to send something, a donation to help you get some food, a room, uh, what is the name of your cash app? Do you remember? Uh, no, I don't remember. Okay, right there. Dollars. It's dollar sign TV71719711. Got it. So I'm going to add that, your cash app, to the channel description. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and uh, upload this video as soon as possible so that people can start helping you as much as possible, okay? It would be great. Anything is greatly appreciated. Absolutely, and I think we need to come together and help each other out. Uh, again, there's struggles in life for all of us, and uh, we have to come together as a community to help each other, give our, give each other a hand up, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to give you uh, my card you. with my number okay. so that we can stay in touch and you can let me know Absolutely. where people are able to help you. Where are you now, right? In a week from now, two weeks, whatever we need to do to update in case people do start um, trying to help, okay? Yeah, they'll not be, a problem. They'll be curious about how you guys are doing, okay? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'll also, um, also give you i'll check my wallet to see how much i have to be able to get some lunch okay yeah so uh i'm gonna say thank you very much tracy for talking to me sharing your story thank you yeah it was really nice meeting you and jolie uh please uh be safe out here it's hard yeah right yeah. don't get down keep your head up uh, we're trying yep yep just uh if you get down tracy just look at uh yeah, she does she she does she she makes it a point too <laughs> yep lift each other up okay yeah. lift each other up okay so yeah, thank you. Uh, again thank you very much we'll talk soon all right thank you